Do you remember much about the house you lived in as a child? Yeah. I remember everything about it. Can you describe it? Well, it was a log house that uh, Dad built himself, and, uh, and I think uh, my two oldest brothers helped him build it too. And, um, and to fill the cracks between the logs, well, he used the mud and cow manure and uh, water, and uh, that's how they stuffed it to keep the uh, air from blowing through between the logs. Huh. And that was on the outside, and, and uh, bedding or anything that uh, cloth that uh, was not any good well, mom used to stick it between them on the, in the inside uh, do you remember what the furniture was like at all the furniture yeah well um as a kid i mean it was all what the chairs dad, dad built and the table dad built and uh, and that uh, but most of them they didn't have a back on them or anything, they're more of, a, more of a stool and a chair and huh. sit around the table, yeah. And how was the house heated? Um, wood stove. And did you have to cut the wood yourself? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, well, Dad would bring a load of logs, he had, uh, we had horses and in the summertime we um, he'd cut the logs and haul them in, and then uh, Dan and I would uh, uh, saw them, saw it up, and split the wood for uh, in the summertime, early summer, so that it would be dry and make good firewood. Huh. And did that also heat the second floor? N no. There was uh, there. Well, there's no second floor. It was just an attic, and uh, that's where Dan and I bed was and, uh, and uh, there was just a tin uh, um, chimney that went went through there and, hmm. and caught on fire regularly in the winter time huh. the house. Could you describe that? Well uh, it was uh, downstairs in the living room it was just a, a round well it was like a barrel well it was a barrel actually and dad put the chimneys on it and uh, Fire, fire in there, and, and um, I don't know how many, can't remember how many times in the winter, but uh, uh, to try to keep it so everything did, well, it froze up pretty well every night anyway, but uh, uh, to have a good fire on before we went to bed, and and, uh, and the stove pipe would get red hot and catch the roof on fire in, in the night. Huh. And that did that happen often? I say maybe two or three times a um, winter. Huh. And would you? How would the fire be put out? Well, there's usually so much snow on the roof that the uh, you know soon to burn through to the snow will uh, yeah. melt it and rain in it and that's that stopped it. And, huh. and then Dad would get some boards or planks and, and cover it up around that chimney, the hole that it made and. And what kind of lighting did you have? Uh, coal oil lanterns and coal oil lamps. And did you have indoor plumbing at all? No. Did you have a, a cistern? No. So just a well? Yeah. And how far was it from the house? Oh, well, there was one for the animals, and it was maybe 100 yards away, and the one for the house was about 50 yards, and it wasn't about 90 feet deep and, and you had a, a pail on a rope and a pulley on it and then we got it up one pail at a time for the and water for the house and for the stock for the animals. And did it freeze over in the winter? Well, it, it uh, just... Uh, well, the ground maybe uh, froze in three or four feet, so down at that there well because there was water spilled when we were pulling a, a pail of water up and and, and um, it wouldn't and dad had a a long pole with a you know, like an axe on it and if you know if it got so he couldn't get a pail on there well that's what he used to 